In this video, we will take a look at inserting elements into an AVL tree. So let us take an example. So let's say that we need to insert the elements 9, 15, 20, 8, 7, 13 and 10 into an AVL tree in that order. So, we are going to insert these elements into an AVL tree one by one starting from 9. Now, with every element we insert, we must remember to follow two steps. The first step is, we need to insert the element as we would in a normal binary search tree. The second step is that we have to check whether any imbalance has occurred due to the node that has just been added. If the imbalance has occurred, then we must perform rotation. Keeping this in mind, let's look at how we are going to insert the elements. So let's start with 9. Currently, the AVL tree is empty. So I'm going to make 9 my root. This is the only element we have added so far. Let's extend it to the external nodes. I'm indicating external nodes as a shaded node. Now that we have inserted 9 as we would to a normal binary search tree, let's look at what the height differences are. So the external nodes are going to have a height of 0. 9 is going to have a height of 1 which is 1 plus the max of the height of its children, which is 0. So 1 plus 0 is 0, so the height of 9 is 1. There is no imbalance at this stage. So let's go to the next element. Now, to this AVL tree, we must insert 15. So the first step is to insert 15 into this tree as though it were a normal binary search tree. 15 is going to be greater than 9, so it is going to come to the right of 9. So let's see what the tree looks like once we add 15. So now we have added 15. Now I'm going to extend this node 15 with two external nodes. So this is how I would have added 15 if it was a normal binary search tree. Now I am going to check the height differences. So I have added node 15, so I am going to start from its external nodes. External nodes have a height of 0, 15 will in turn have a height of 1. Then we check 15's sibling. The sibling of 15 is this external node with the height of 0. The height difference is only 1. So that's acceptable. Then we go to 9. 9 will have a height of 1 plus the max of 0 and 1, which is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So the height of 9 will be 2. At this stage, we are not finding any imbalances. So we will insert the next element. It is important to remember here that an imbalance is when the difference in height between a node and its sibling is more than 2. Here there are no imbalances because no two, no, no two siblings are of a height difference of more than two of each other. With that in mind, let's add node 20. So to add 20, we go to 9. 20 is greater than 9, so 20 will be added to the right of 9. 20 is greater than 15, so 20 will be added to the right of 15. I've added 20. Now I'm going to extend 20 with external nodes. Now that we have added 20 to this tree, just like we would in a normal binary search tree, let's look at the height differences. So I've added 20, so I'm going to start checking its external nodes. 
So its external nodes will have a height of 0. In turn, 20 will have a height of 1. Then we check the sibling of 20. It's an external node, so it's going to have a height of 0. Then we go to 15. 15 is going to have a height of 1 plus max of 0 and 1. So it's going to be 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Then we check the sibling of 15. Sibling of 15 is an external node. It will have a height of 0. In this case, there is an imbalance here because 15 is at a height of 2. Its sibling is at a height of 0. So there exists a node whose height is at a difference of 2 more than its sibling. So the imbalance that occurs is here. So what must we do when we encounter an imbalance? We have to perform a rotation. So as discussed in the previous videos, what a rotation will do is, it will bring the middle node out of the tree as the root and arrange the other nodes accordingly. This is just a simple way to remember how to do a rotation. So in this case, between 9, 15 and 20, the middle value is 15. So we will bring 15 to be the root. 9 is going to be less than 15, so it will come to its left. 20 is going to be greater than 15, so it will come to its right. 9 and 20 will have the subchilds respectively. So 20 is going to have its own subchilds because that is not disturbed. Nine's left subchild is not disturbed. Nine's right subchild has been removed and put to the root. Now we notice that this external node is between 9 and 15. So it is going to remain to be between 9 and 15. If you look at the previous videos, you will notice that this is a left rotation or an LL. So let's look at this new tree after the rotation and compare its height differences. So the external nodes will have height of 0. Its parents will have a height of 1. 15 will have a height of 2. In this tree, there is no imbalance. So now we can go and insert the next element. So now we have to insert 8. 8 is less than 15, it will go to the left subchild of 15. 8 is less than 9, so it will go to the left subchild of 9. I've just added 8, so I'm going to extern extend it with external nodes. Now that I have added 8 to the AVL tree, I'm going to check the height differences. So 8 has two external nodes with height 0. 8 will have a height 1. Its sibling has a height 0. 9 will have a height 2. Then we go to this tree because we want to find out the or this subtree because you want to find out the height of 20. External nodes have a height of 0, 20 has a height of 1 and 15 will have a height of 3. There is no imbalance in this tree. So we can go ahead and add the next element. So now we have to insert 7. 7 is less than 15 so it will go to the left subtree of 15. 7 is less than 9 so it will go to the left subtree of 9. 7 is less than 8, so it will go to the left subtree of 8. So I've just added 7, so I'm going to extend it with external nodes. Now I'm going to check the height balance. 
So I've just added 7, so we'll start from there. So it's going to have external nodes with 0 height. 7 will have a height of 1. This external node will have a height of 0. 8 will have a height of 2. This external node has a height of 0. So we can see that we have an imbalance here. So what must we do if there's an imbalance? We need to rotate. What do we mean by rotating? We need to bring the middle element as the root. Between 9, 8 and 7, 8 is the middle element. So I'm in this subtree, I'm going to make 8 as the root. Seven is less than eight, so it will come to the left of eight. And nine is greater than eight, so it will come to the right of eight. Now the subtrees of seven have not been altered, so we're going to leave it as what it was. Right subtree of nine has not been changed. Only the left subtree of nine is no longer eight because eight has become the root. So what is going to be the left subtree of 9? Whatever is in between 8 and 9. So what was in between 8 and 9? This external node. So it's going to continue to be in between 8 and 9. So if you remember the previous video, this is going to be a right rotation. Once the tree has been rotated, let's look at the height differences. So the external nodes are going to have a height of 0, the parents will have a height of 1, 8 is going to have a height of 2. Now let's look at the sibling of 8, external nodes height 0, so 20 will have a height 1, 2 and 1 only a height difference of 1, so it's not an imbalance and 15 is going to have a height of 3. So now there is no imbalance in this tree and we can add the next element. So this is the tree we got after adding 7. Now we have to add 13 and 10. So first let's add 13. 13 is less than 15, so it will go to the left of 15. 13 is greater than 8, so it will go to the right of 8. 13 is greater than 9, so it's going to go to the right of 9. So let's insert 13 and see what the tree looks like. So this is what the tree is going to look like. We have just added 13, so we'll extend it with external nodes. Starting from there, let's check the height difference. External nodes will have a height of 0, 13 will have a height of 1, sibling of 13 will have a height of 0, 9 will have a height of 2. Sibling of 9 is going to be 7, so these external nodes will be 0, height of 7 is going to be 1, so height of 8 is going to be 3. Now let's look at the sibling. Height of external nodes are 0, so height of 20 is 1. So between 8 and 20 who are siblings, there is going to be an imbalance because the height difference 3 minus 1 is 2. So the imbalance that occurs is going to be at this level. So what must we do if there's an imbalance? We need to rotate. So, 8 is the node at which the imbalance occurs, 15 is the parent of 8, and 9 is going to be the node, rather the child of the node which causes the imbalance, which is going to be responsible for that imbalance. What this means is, the height of 8 is 3 only because the height of 9 is 2, because the height of 8 is 1 plus the max of the height of its children. So when we are choosing the max of the height of its children, we are going to choose 9. That is, we are going to choose 2. So we are going to have 1 plus 2 is 3 
and that's why that is the height of 8. So 9 is going to be the child of 8 that is responsible for its height. So the three nodes which we must compare is 15, 8 and 9. So the middle node between 15, 8 and 9 is going to be 9. So we will make 9 the root between these three nodes. So upon rotating the tree, we will get a tree which looks like this. 9 becomes the root. 8 is less than 9, so it will go to the left of 9. 15 is greater than 9, so it will go to the right of 9. Now we must see what happens to the subtrees. The left subtree of 8 remains unchanged. Now, the right subtree of 15 remains unchanged. Now, the right child of 8 is going to be whatever was in between 8 and 9, which is going to be an external node. Now, the left child of 15 is going to be whatever was in between 9 and 15. In this diagram, you can see that between 9 and 15, there is 13. Why do I say that? Because 13 is greater than 9 but less than 15. So it has come to the left child of 15 but to the right child of 9. So what is between 9 and 15? Between 9 and 15 we have 13. So let's look at the height differences in this tree. External nodes have height 0 its parents have height 1, 15 height becomes 2 because 1 plus 1 is 2 then the height of 9 is 3 so there is no imbalance in this tree. As you may recall from the previous video this is going to be left right rotation. Now that there is no imbalance we can go on to the next element. So let's add 10. 10 is greater than 9, so it's going to go to the right of 9. 10 is less than 15, so it will go to the left of 15. 10 is less than 13, so it will go to the left of 13. So 10 is going to be added here. So let's see what the tree looks like. So 10 has just been added, so we will extend it with external nodes. So let's start checking the height differences. So we have just added 10, so we will start with that. External nodes have height 0, 10 will have height 1. External node has height 0, 13 will have height 2. Now we go to the sibling of 13. External nodes have height 0, so 20 will have height 1. There is no imbalance here height of 15 will be 3. Now we go to the sibling of 15. We have to find the height of 8. So we go to this node, height 0, height of 7 is 1, height 0, height of 8 is 2, between 2 and 3, it will choose 3, so height of 9 is 4. So now there is no imbalance in the tree and we have successfully added all the elements into our AVL tree. So this is how you perform insertion into an AVL tree.